Controversy Corner. Controversy Corner is a section of Logo Sophia magazine where people of different faith traditions discuss controversial topics in a succinct manner. If you would like to submit a topic for discussion, please let us know. Don't see your denomination represented? Help us fix that. We're always looking for new writers. Disagree with a representative of your denomination? Write in and tell us why in a respectful manner, and we'll publish it in our next magazine under Letters to the Editor. For these and any other questions, comments, or suggestions, email us at editors.logosophia at gmail.com. Controversy Corner Is there a limit to what a Christian ought to consume in art and media? Confessional Lutheran, represented by Jordan Christensen, read by Ian Wilson. To my knowledge, there is no official limit by confessional Lutheran synods upon the consumption of media aside from pornography. Pornography is outright sinful. In regards to other media, many confessional Lutheran pastors do encourage Christians to be cautious to what they are consuming as not all media can be a good influence, and some can, in fact, have a very negative influence. Roman Catholic, represented by Sarah Levesque. While the Catholic Church doesn't have a hard and fast line about consuming art and media, aside from condemning pornography, every Christian ought to be careful that what they consume does not lead them to the near occasion of sin, which is in and of itself a sin. Humanity has always appreciated the idea of art, though individuals quibble on what art consists of, and has always utilized distractions, of course, and these can be healthy to a degree. After all, God has given us the propensity to crave beauty, to soak up stories, to thrive on discovery. We just need to exercise prudence and temperance, and not let the desire for beauty, for stories, for discovery control our lives. Poring over ancient Greek nudes for too long would probably be problematic. Many fashion magazines and websites feature beautiful, scantily clad models, which may lower one's self-esteem even for those who are not sexually attracted to them. Social media, clickbait sites, and video platforms are addicting, which is bad not only for the viewer, but also for those who ought to be receiving the viewer's attention. How often do we neglect people? chores, and other good and necessary things in favor of consuming media. In short, most art and media is not problematic in and of itself until it starts controlling us, taking us away from the people and obligations that need our attention. Are you looking for experience? We are looking for remote interns to work with us in one or more of the following categories. Writing, proofreading, graphic design, marketing, and more. Learn more at logosophiamag.com slash internship dash opportunities. Presbyterian Church Independent, represented by Joshua David Ling. This issue and Christian liberty are some of the founding issues Presbyterians went to war on during the Reformation in Europe and later America. The scripture is clear that what comes out of a man is that which defiles him. And so all our confessions and creeds are in accordance with that assumption. Therefore, using wisdom and discernment become more of an individual endeavor that is colored specifically by one's own conscience and the covenants one keeps with his local church. If a brother is sinning by his words or actions, one place that may be dug into for answers is, what media is he consuming? Because wrong-headed anti-truth, anti-beauty, and anti-goodness all have their own part in weaseling us away from our true love, Christ.